What is up everyone and welcome back to some Would You Rather. I've been itching to do something like this for a while and I figure since I'm not feeling great right now, let's do something a little more relaxed even though I might get a little cray cray and vomit on my keyboard, but that's fine. So yeah, for those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, I did miss my stream because I just wasn't feeling good today. Uh, well, as in Sunday. And if you don't know, I stream every Sunday at 2 p.m. ish, <laughs> give or take, it depends on some things. But for all of you who said, you know, get better and, and things like that, thank you, I appreciate it. Like 10 minutes after I posted that on Twitter, I was just sitting, I was literally just sitting here, like in right, right where I am right now. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> and uh, well, I rushed to the bathroom, but I was like, man, I think I feel better. Like five minutes later, <laughs> you know how it goes when you throw up and just kind of feels a little, feels like you got something out, but then it comes back. It, it, it was it was a nightmare. Just a lot of a lot of poo, a lot of diarrhea, a lot of stuff that I already died to my already. You're welcome. Hope you're not eating when you're watching this. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the actual game. The personality test? <laughs> Something. And it starts off with, would you rather only be able to laugh at violently racist jokes or only be able to laugh at intricate Star Trek jokes? I love how specific that is. I, what even, what's an example of an intricate Star Trek joke? I, <laughs> um, I don't know. I've never watched Star Trek personally, but I feel like laughing at that's going to get me less hated by society. I'm going to go with that. Oh, yeah, I'm not too surprised. Honestly, I feel like sh I was surprised it's not more towards this. Just, you know, you know how people are. Would you rather be a nerd or be a jock? Does this, do we even need to? Why are you even asking? Do you see, do you see this? Do you see this? Uh, hello? I've actually been both. I used to be more of a jock, I guess you could say, in high school. So, wasn't all that great. <laughs> Would you rather? Eat fruit roll-ups or eat fruit by the foot? Those are different. Okay, there's fruit by, fruit by the foot. Oh, okay, so the sheets are fruit roll-ups. Fruit by the foot is like the uh, skinnier one. Um, I'm gonna have to go fruit by the foot. I feel like that's more manageable, even though literally both of them, I just crawl, crawl up into a little ball and I put it all in my mouth at once. I don't even, I don't play games when it comes to my fruit roll-ups, all right? They go in my mouth, I enjoy it, I spit it out, I eat it again, because it's that good. Then maybe I swallow it. That could be taken differently. Uh, moving on. Would you rather? Be the guy from Memento, or be the guy from Groundhog Day. I know what Groundhog Day is. I know the premise. I'm guessing. I, I'm guessing you're saying like, be in their position. I don't know what Memento is. Um, it's probably terrible though. If I had, if I had to guess, Leonard is tracking down the man who raped and murdered his wife. The difficulty, however, of locating his wife's killer is compounded by the fact. That, okay, you know what? That's enough for me. I'm gonna go Groundhog Day. That sounds terrible. Would you rather be a lefty or be a righty? Bitch, I'm ambidextrous. It's it's interesting because okay, I know where this is gonna go from you guys, but I'm gonna say this anyway. Depending on what I'm doing, <laughs> I'm I'm left or right-handed. Depending on what I'm doing, and like for example, I throw a baseball or a football with my right hand. I play guitar right-handed even, but when it comes, I bat and I golf left-handed, and I don't know which way I surf. I can't remember. I think it's left foot forward. I don't know if that's normal or not, but. That's a, that's a fucking hand, anyway. What's well, it left or right? Is anyway. I know what you're. I know what you're gonna say though. Oh, so which hand do you wank with? Well, the answer to that is, I guess it'd be a lefty. Whatever. Uh, a lot of people would be. Oh, I just thought things are more convenient for for right-handed people. Gotta admit, because I I write left-handed, and uh, those 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 pad pen pad things that you sign your signature with when you use your card, not convenient for left-handed people. If you were starving, would you rather eat your own hand or eat a loved one's eye? <laughs> that, that's not that's, that's not gonna do anything. That's not at least my hand would be more filling. You know what I mean? An eye? I'm gonna be like, hmm, uh, so can I have the other eye too? Is that fine? Or you're gonna need that one? Let's just go with the hand. Yeah, 66. Like, 
Such a dumb question. Would you rather talk like Yoda or breathe like Darth Vader? <laughs> oh god. Um, that would be inconvenient. Gonna be honest. To breathe like Vader? Talking like Yoda? I mean, I don't care. I'm fine with it, but that's probably inconvenient to everyone else. But that's okay. Mmm, that's kind of close, actually. I don't know. Okay. Would you rather be born a dwarf or be born without one third of your legs? Like, are we talking like Lord of the Rings dwarf here? Like I'm a natural crafter and axe wielder? Or are we talking like a real life dwarf where I'm, where I'm, I'm just short? I don't... I'm, I'm, that's it. I, I gotta go dwarf. At least I can function properly. You know, I, I mean, people, I've seen videos of people without legs or, or limbs even get by in life more or less fine, but I, I, I can't imagine myself being... My light's falling. All right, it's good. It didn't fall. I was not going to stop it if it did, so that's very good that it didn't. Would you rather be able to talk to... Re Wait. Be able to talk to read minds... Be able to talk to read minds, but you get a really bad headache after you use it. What are you saying? Be able to talk to read minds. Be able to fly, but you're afraid of heights. I, this one, uh, the grammar's so bad. It's so bad. I'd rather. I mean, jeez. Oh, I'd rather fly. Fuck it. That was that was dumb. Would you rather change your religion or change your political party? <laughs> Would you rather have no hands, or have a naked fat guy? St I've already done this one. Sorry, there's a lot of repeats on this, considering like even even though it's like supposed to be a pretty big thing. Would you rather be fam famous on Tumblr or be famous on YouTube? Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's wow. Okay, didn't expect that big of a thing, but I mean, for me especially, am I obviously YouTube? I was gonna look at comments, but then I have to mess with my like cropping, and I don't want to do that. Would you rather cut off your right hand or cut off your? What the fuck is stupid? Would you rather have to use a completely blank keyboard with absolutely no labeled keys or have to type with only your two index fingers all the time? I almost already do that. No, not really. I don't. But so basically it's saying, are you really good with it or like really, really, really good at typing? Or are you really bad? I'm guessing a lot of people are going to say uh, this one, the blank keyboard, because people are probably really good at typing. I always need to. St I still need to. Look. I, I need to look, but if it's only typing, I can get by with that. But if it's like you can only ever use these fingers on the keyboard, you're not going to be able to play video games. But it says type, so I'm going to assume that's the case. I'm going to say that. Wow. Okay. Uh, alrighty then. I was not expecting that. Would you rather eat only lima beans for the rest of your life or be allowed to eat your favorite meal but only three times a week? Uh, what's the downside to this? How often do you ever get to eat your favorite meal? Anyway, I, I, that would be more than I already do. So I don't know what this is talking about. If you knew you were going to fail a test, would you rather rip up the exam paper or walk out laughing? I'd fucking do both. <laughs> but I'd rather walk out laughing. Walk out, walk out like a boss. Would you rather slay the dragon or rescue the princess? Again, can't I do the wolf? So, <laughs> so the dragon's like, I'm guarding the princess. No one will ever take her. You know, I'm like sneaking around the back. I'm like, princess, let's uh, come this way. <laughs> and then we just walk away. The dragon's like, Haha, no one will get her. And just like forever th thinking she's in there. Poor dragon. Then I, I guess at least he's alive. Or could you imagine the other way though, where I come... Like the princess like sees me walking up. I'm like, ah, oh, dragon! And we have this big old fight. I kill the dragon. She's like, oh, my hero. And then I'm like, all right. And I just walk away. <laughs> no, come, come back. Come back. I guess rescue the princess. <laughs> 
If you had to choose a school for seven years, would you rather attend Hogwarts or attend Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters? Here's the thing. This is not implying I also have a power, whereas I'm assuming I could go here and learn magic. Even still, assuming I did have a power, I'd probably only have one. Whereas here, in Hogwarts, I can learn many things. So, I'd attend Hogwarts. Yes. Would you rather have Pokemon be real or superheroes exist? <clears throat> Here's the thing. Initially, it'd definitely be tempting to say, oh, Pokemon? In the real world? Amazing. But, I mean, do you guys see how many times Ash gets shocked by Pikachu? That stuff kills you in real life. I'm not sure I want that around me every day. They're just a bunch of wild animals, basically. Like, at any moment can destroy our planet if they felt like it. Just... No, that'd be terrible. In reality, that'd be terrible. Unless, like, we were for some reason immune to these things ourselves. But... That sounds bad. That sounds bad. Superheroes exist, though. That'd be kind of... Oh, the super villains. And then we could just be the next... Whatever Avengers took place in New York. And then it just gets destroyed. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Superheroes. Ooh, that's close. That's tough. What would you guys choose? That's probably... Gonna be one of the toughest ones. If you had to do one thing every morning, would you rather need to milk yourself or lay an egg? <laughs> well, let's get this out of the way, guys. Let's, let's get our get our milk out. <laughs> what the fuck? <coughs> Shit. That's stupid. That's really stupid. I'd milk myself. <laughs> and sell it to unsuspecting people. Would you rather snort one crushed up Altoid mint Spearmint, especially. That's specifically a spearmint. Or, I'm sorry, I, that was rude. Take a shot, 1.5 ounce of Tabasco sauce. I'll take the Tabasco, sure. That's not that bad. I mean, it's gonna be gross, probably, but I don't know what side effects spearmint Altoids will do. Would you rather only brutal metal or only. J Would you rather. Live with Hitler for three years, or live with Saddam Hussein for six years. I like how they're like, I think the maximum tolerability for Hitler, three. Hussan, or Hussan, mm, I think six. I think you could push a little more than that. I guess Hitler. I mean, get it over with for one thing, and Hitler's... The psychology of it all behind Hitler is kind of interesting to me. You know what I mean? Like, it's it, it there's... When people are like crazy, right? Or they do this just ridiculous thing. Part of me is like, what goes on in their head? Like in the middle of all of this, you know? And like, I kind of want to know. So uh, I don't know if that's a good way to look at things, but would you rather be a wizard or be the king of England? If you're a wizard, you could be the king of the world. Who's going to stop a wizard? Are you kidding me? It's way cooler. No offense, England, but I'm guessing you'd rather be a wizard too. When you go to bed at night, would you rather have a deranged elf pour a bucket of water in you every 15 minutes? That's fucking disturbing. Here, Buffalo Sol- Wait, here, Buffalo Soldier by Bob Marley play at 110 decibels for three minutes at a time at random intervals. That's so specific. Like, both of these are really specific. Like, why? <laughs> Bob Marley. I don't think I can handle the water. Would you rather see the future or change the past? Very interesting one. I'm sure there are a decent amount of people who change the past. I'm guessing there's a decent amount of people who change the past for really dumb reasons. Like, oh, I lost my, I lost my $20 bill that last week, and I'm, I want to get that back right now. <laughs> But uh, changing the past is so sketchy, you know? You don't know what outcome's gonna... I mean, I'm playing Life is Strange right now. Things get crazy if you change stuff. So seeing in the future, though, you could see an event coming. And you can know if it's gonna be good or bad. If it's bad, you can veer away from there. You know what I mean? And uh, 
that sounds better. So I'm gonna go see the future. Very close, very close. There's a, there's a lot of bad questions in here. Like I spent like five minutes just skipping through them because they're like, would you rather be immortal or die right now? And then I kept having repeat questions and it's like, would you rather beat a tiger in a fight who ate a man or beat a man in a fight who ate a tiger? <laughs> what? The? That took a turn I was not anticipating. <laughs> what? The dude's more scary than the tiger at this point. If he just... Because he just beat a tiger and then ate it. <laughs> That's scary, man. I don't want to... Oh, it says you beat him. It's not like you have to fight him. It's, it's assuming, like, you're going to win. Uh, I'd rather fight the guy, I guess. That's almost more impressive. Like, yeah, I could have beaten a tiger, but another guy got that first, beat it, and then ate it. And I killed him. Or, or beat it. I don't know. It doesn't say kill. Moving on. Which superpower would you rather have? Superhuman memory, ability to retain all information you learn, or teleportation? Teleportation. That's... I can't even... I don't even need to make an argument for that, I feel like. Would you rather have your stomach pulled out of your mouth or have your brain pulled out of your eye socket? Oh my god. At least I'll die pretty much instantaneously from this one because someone has to like, I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's like a hand, reach in through here and like go into my brain hopefully and kill me right then. The stomach though, they got to go into my mouth and go like, Ugh! you know what I mean? And pull it like that and that's going to hurt a lot for a decent amount of time. But I'm going to go with my brain. Why? Why? They're both terrible. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, again, I'm just like assuming it's like instant, but I guess it's not necessarily. They could like make it slow. Either way though. All right, I'm going to leave it with this last question. Would you rather be able to fly or be able to breathe underwater? Now, I'm personally someone who's super interested in our ocean. What's deep down in there? You know, I mean, even though you can breathe, you can't necessarily see, so we're assuming you also have something that can handle it. Then again, you can't handle the pressure of being way down there. Just because you can breathe doesn't mean you can handle the pressure. I mean... Huh, that does change things a little bit. Plus, it'd be really cold. <laughs> like, really cold. Oh, being able to fly would be really cool. Oh, jeez. Be able to fly, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was I was trying to make an argument for it because I feel like that was too obvious, but you just gotta go with flying. Like nothing, not much can beat flying. You know what I mean? How, how about this? If you could fly, would you rather be able to fly like like you know someone like Goku from Dragon Ball Z, just like you just kind of fly, or would you rather have wings on your back, be it like angel wings, devil wings, like vampire wings, like well, however kind of wings, but you had wings and you fly with those. Which one would you prefer? I mean, one's kind of cool, but personally, I'd rather fly with no wings because for one thing, the wings could be annoying in like in closed spaces and uh, that probably be, be more tiring. That's uh, that's my logic behind it. Okay, how about this? I'm going to leave you this. This is a million dollar question, all right? This is the one I asked like everyone I know and I get mixed responses. One million dollars. You get one million dollars. That's a lot of dollars. That's, in fact, that's a million of them. You get that. But twice a day at random times for the next year. So for one year, random time throughout the day, twice. It could be like 12.01, 12.02, bam, bam. Or it could be spread out. However, it's not when you're asleep, only when you're awake. So twice a day, your one of your fists takes a, a swing at you, right at your face. Like, it's like it has a mind of its own for a second and takes a swing at you trying to like knock you out. It doesn't necessarily always knock you out, but it's gonna try. Could, like, would you take that? <laughs> I mean, could you imagine you're driving that, and then your fist like, whoa, and you're just like, oh! You just try to dodge it and if you manage it, then you're fine. But if you're like unprepared or whatever, then it hits you, well, that could suck a lot. <laughs> Especially if you, uh are a strong individual and, and then you're like wow this is coming back to bite me now i'm uh, punching myself really hard in the face and i don't want to <laughs> but it's only for one year so you know uh 730 times or so i think total in a year is when you're gonna have swings at you <laughs> uh personally i think i would yeah maybe i'd put weights on my arms just to like slow them down a bit or something but who knows like maybe the moment you take it off 
to go to sleep. It's just like, whoa, and he just whacks you. And because you had weights in your arms, they're even stronger and faster than you they were before. And you go, damn it, nothing's working. But <laughs> I just wanted to see what you guys said to that one, whether you'd take the million or not. Anyway, that does it for me today, you guys. I just wanted to put out a little video like this. It's easy, low energy for me. Doesn't have to a lot of editing, so that's why I did it. It's due to me being a little sick right now. <clears throat> it, uh, I just didn't want to not have anything at all, so I kind of want to put this out. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you get a kick out of these little would you rather's. And uh, if you did, thank you. I guess in this situation, I'd say if you liked the video, leave a like and comment and subscribe and, and share and um, whatever else you do, you crazy kids. Oh man, I'm I'm just. I'm crazy at, at two in the morning. What am I even doing with life? <laughs> anyway, hopefully you enjoy this video. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, everyone, welcome to a little Z talk segment. I should have like an intro to this or something just because I don't know, like like a, like a flashy, like a news anchor thing goes by. It's like Z talks and it like spins and stuff. I don't know. That, that's a little overkill, actually. Anyway, this time I just wanted to talk about a story. One of my greatest triumphs of my life even though it's kind of dumb, honestly, and not a lot of people will think it's at all interesting. I'm going to say it anyway. But if you don't care about this stuff, it's just me basically bragging about something that I did. Um, but it's an interesting story, I feel like. So if you're interested, stick around. So where I grew up in, there was a place called Motions. It was Motions Laser Tag. Super cool place. Like this place was a, the arena where you play laser tag in was two stories. You know, it had like all these different like little maze like structures in there. There was bases because there was three teams, a yellow, blue and red. Each had their own theme, like yellow team was video game characters like Mario's um, Link, stuff like that. Red was Star Wars characters and blue was Harry Potter characters. So already you're like fucking cool. Like that's a great con. Like good job. Like, you know, your audience, you know, and then each one had bases, which give you a ton of points individually, you know, and like there's different spots did for a different amount of points like the chest was worth the most so you know like there's like a meta in there i guess you could say where people would cover their chest so that that wasn't exposed so the most amount of points weren't there you know you could tell the difference between newbie players there and like people who played a lot because they knew like how to cover up their chest and stuff so that was pretty interesting but i had gone in there one day for my first time ever it was a pretty slow day, so I went in with like a couple people. It wasn't it wasn't a whole lot. It was like two per team. It when it normally can be like um I think it was like t 10 per team, so like a total of 30 or so people could be in there. And um when I went in there, I was like, "Oh, this is really cool." And I wasn't doing that great, but this is cool. And like if you get like a every time someone like if one of your teammates destroys a base, someone randomly on your team, like the person who destroyed the base, gets a power up. So like you can get one where it's like stealth mode. So it looks like your vest is deactivated, like someone shot you. Or you can get a hyper speed mode where like you shoot twice as fast and a couple other power ups. So there's this little like, you know, incentive to go for it and you get these power ups and you, you were in a God mode for a little bit. Super cool. And I was like, oh, I'm doing so good. And I, in reality, I'm not. And I remember I walked out, you know, and I saw this guy who got a pretty high score. And I was like, wow, OK. And he had a name I hadn't seen. It's called Dark Slayer, right? His name was Dark Slayer. And that's because you can get a pendant and this little chip on it and you can put in your membership there and scan it into any of the vests and it'll apply your name to it. So I was like, this guy's name is Dark Slayer. Well, that's kind of cool. Like, that's cool that you can make your own thing. I didn't know that. And I saw that there was a chart on the wall and it said for anyone who got over 20,000, which was like an insane score, right? 20,000 is a lot. Like, I think a chest, which is the most, is worth like 100 or something or maybe 50. And so to get 20,000 is pretty good. Um, and he was at, at like a, near the top and it showed how much 20,000 he got and stuff like that. I was like, wow, this guy's really good. But he was like really cocky. Like he was like comically cocky, like someone from a movie. He's like some kid was talking to him. And he's like, do you even know who I am? <laughs> like no joke. This guy was like serious man about it. But it like irked me, you know, like this dude was like so cocky about it and everything. And he was just like, oh, you you newbies, you normies and stuff. So I was like, I'm going to get better than this guy. I, I want to get a better score than him. This was like all I thought. Right. So I went into that place every Friday from 7 p.m. to midnight because it was a special. You pay $20. You could play free games, free pizza, um, all this stuff. It was a really good deal. 
So I would go in there and I'd do that every Friday. And I steadily, steadily got better. And I had my own membership name. I, na I, I call it Reaper because I really liked the Grim Reaper back then. I still do, he's still cool. Um, but I had it Reaper, right? And I still was getting better. And finally the day came where I got 20,000 points, right? So I was on the board, I'm like, yeah. You know, people started to know me more. Like the, the staff knew me. And after getting a couple more 20,000s, a day came where I went in and I was just on fire. Like literally every shot I took was killing someone in the chest. I'm like, I don't know, I just I entered ultra instinct and I was like, ah, going everywhere. Walked out and looked at my score. And well, I didn't look at it yet, but when I was walking out, the guy who was talking about Dark Slayer, uh, he started to get to know me and he started kind of talking with me more because, you know, I was kind of rising, I guess. And then he's like, I gotta say, even I'm jealous. And I was like, what? And I looked over and I had like 31,000. So I was the first person to get 30,000 there. And then uh, the, the staff was like, oh, oh, geez, uh, here you go. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> they don't, they like didn't call my name anymore. Um, they just kind of handed it to me because they knew who I was. But I was like, what? Oh my God. And then like, I looked at the list and I'm just like, I'm number one now. I'm like, what's going on? It's like, oh my God, I'm so hype. You know, and like, I'm the first person ever to do this. And I felt so good because that goal I set like months ago finally came and I got that higher score. I felt like I was better. The, the staff would no longer allow me and him to be on the same team because they felt it was unfair. You know, there's like some kid who was like, uh, he the guy, the staff called out my name and I took it. He's like, you're Reaper? Whoa, I saw you on the board. You know, and I was like, yeah, thanks. You know, it was like kind of awkward. I didn't know how to handle all this. So I was like, oh, don't, don't pay attention to me. I'm just a guy. Anyway, I just thought it was cool because at that time, at that place, you know, I was like a celebrity, different how I how it is now on YouTube. But even still, I don't feel that status. You know what I mean? Like if, if I were to see one of you guys on the street, let's say, and you were like, is you gaming guy? Like, dude, I watch your videos all the time. I love your videos, man. I, I'd, I'd be like, I don't know how to handle this. Thank you, though. Uh, I'll shake your hand. I'm, I, what do I do here? But yeah, I just felt like it was a story worth sharing. It was just that uh, rise to that 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 goal, that singular commitment of I'm going to get better than that guy and actually following through with it because it's not always easy to stick with something like that, you know, even though it was fun. I had a good time doing it. Do you guys have any stories like that where, you know, you you had a singular goal and you were determined to get it? You know what I mean? Like nothing was going to stop you. And then eventually you got it like super satisfying feeling, right? It doesn't even matter what it is. It could be like, I'm going to beat my dad in chess, which was another one of mine's minds back way in the day. Cause my dad would always beat me. He never let me win. Finally beat him one day and then steadily became better and better than him. And it was just, it was nice. I'm sure at least some of you have things like that, right? Go ahead and share in the comments. I'm interested to read some of those. Anyway, I talked way longer than I expected to. Uh, I got all, all like, yeah, into it again, because it just made me reminisce about that place, it got shut down, so I'm kind of bummed. If I ever get rich, I'm gonna definitely bring it back. <laughs> Hopefully you found that little story amusing. I know it's not gonna be like, some people are gonna be like, really? Like, you're just bragging that you're good at laser tag? It's really? And I'm like, yeah. I am, because I don't have a lot of things I can brag about, so I'm going to do that. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next one.